Testing clinics have been inundated this morning as the city responds to the new outbreak. Let's cross to Stephanie Anderson at the Melbourne showgrounds. Steph, how long is the wait there? Well, Mark, where I am here, it's now sitting at three hours, but at least at one other side, it's already gone all the way up to four. As you say, from first thing this morning, thousands of Melburnians have turned out for testing across the city. Some facilities were only able to open their gates for less than 10 minutes before they reached capacity. It is what health officials are asking us to do, and it's certainly what Melbourne has done in the past several times. But today, many of those sitting in their cars waiting for a swab say the sense of deja vu is pretty unbelievable. Unsettling. It's pretty frustrating, you know, that um, we're back in this predicament again. And I'm a bit nervous. I have exams next week, so I would much rather be at school. But it's just about being patient, and um, which is fine. There's nothing else to do today apart from going home and isolating, so you might as well be in the car. Now, extra sites and extended hours are being applied right across the city to try and keep up with demand. But along with the testing demand, we are also expecting a spike in the vaccine demand. The clinics are gearing up for that. Many people perhaps getting that push that they needed to go out and get their swab. And at this stage, Mark, the Chief Health Officer tells us that there is capacity to meet that demand in those vaccine clinics, which is good news for Victorians that are eligible at the moment. Yeah.